Good day, everyone. Isn't that how we started these entries off so many years ago on the old Aileron Trading Channel? This is a entry, by the way, that is only going up on the old Aileron Trading Channel. It's not going to be going up on the new channel that I have. But isn't that how we started these entries off? Good day, everyone. Uh, right? Put on that little radio announcer cadence to the voice good day everyone this is dan on uh, november the blah 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 all right old aileron trading channel this channel's been around i am proud of the fact that i have not contributed to this channel oh i i think as like the aileron trading channel in like 10 years i think i want to say 10 years uh, I was with Sharp Trade pre briefly as sort of an educational private prop. Uh, it really worked as a private prop outfit. At least that's what I wanted. Um, I'm not sure how clearly I communicated that among all the partners, which would have been my fault. But I really wanted it as a private prop. Um, but it did, you know, educational work as well. So I used the Aileron Trading Channel a little bit during that time. Um, and threw some of the old, you know, sharp trade videos up on there. But honestly, like as Dan, right, as the, what did it start off with? It started off with the old investing and trading blog, and then it went to no nonsense trading and right. It, it's had a few iterations, but as Dan, I don't think I've contributed to this channel in 10 years and it still has like 8,200 or 8,300 subscribers. That's come way off, right? Because when I announced, it's like, Hey, I'm retiring the channel. I'm not going to be contributing here anymore. Um, basically, uh, you know, the subscriber count, obviously, and the view count, obviously, fell off. Used to have millions of views and all of that. So what am I doing here? <laughs> so what am I doing here? Well, how do I put this? For the Aileron Trading Channel, I'm going to keep it, okay? So are we retiring it? Sort of and sort of not. I'm going to keep it. Uh, as some of you may know by now, I manage a single-family office structure uh, and pretty much the, the wealth management of that structure. And there's when you, when you get into sort of that sort of corporate structure, there are, there are many layers, right? Uh, and the whole aim, well, there's many aims. One of the aims is anonymity, things like that. But there's layers of the corporate structures in LLC. So... What I thought we could do is it's like, hey, wait a minute. What if, because I always enjoyed doing this, right? I always enjoyed the old Aileron trading channel. I enjoyed interacting with everyone. Uh, it helped keep me sharp, right? Actually, let me, let me put this chart as a backdrop on something that might make a little more sense. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let's just put it on, I don't know, anything. Yeah, Canadian Railways. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed interacting with everyone. And as I've put a few more videos up here on the Aileron Trading Channel, uh, I've heard from some of you, Larry and uh, Lunar and uh, many others, right, who have contacted me and uh, we've been able to interact a little bit. And I always like that. So what we did in the single family office structure is we took one of the companies that's layered into it and said, hey, maybe I can just start like one of these new things off of there and I can interact that way right and it's still all compliant and it can fit under that structure and it will follow all of the rules but that way I get to have sort of a public presence which means that it's got to follow all of the rules and be compliant which means it's got its own channel right I'm not going to be able to use this one but it is the GTC traders channel right so I would just use this channel, honestly, because well, why not? It's already got all the subscriber count, right? We got to build that GTC Traders channel up all over again. I would rather use this one, but for compliance reasons, now we got to shuffle it under the corporate structure, and therefore, yeah. So, that being said, what I've been doing for GTC Traders, I'm back, right? Sort of under that structure because it's something that I can do, right? Uh, when I sort of went away seven years ago, it's like I want to pursue a more institutional efforts, which I did, uh, pursued that, and that sort of ran into con a lot of, how do we put this, reputational risk conflicts with the Aileron Trading Channel, right? And so I just retired it. But now, with a new opportunity, right, and I can have GTC Traders, and that GTC Traders is under the corporate structure, 
of the SFO, then okay, I can follow all the rules there, right? So great, awesome. I, I get to I get to yabber my mouth again. But what do we do with this Aileron trading channel? Well, what I'm going to do since I have authorization over the that GTC Traders channel is just whip. You know, as soon as I upload the videos there, I'm going to upload them here a little bit later. So they may not come out on this old Aileron trading channel up to speed. You know, they may not come out as quickly as they would because very obviously we have to make GTC Traders uh, for that particular company in the structure. We have to make it the priority, right? But I'll throw them over here. So, and I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, it won't have all the features that GTC Traders has, right? Um, the actual website itself has a sample portfolio going up. I just basically just a basic like fifty thousand dollar portfolio uh, that we're doing and announcing moves. If if you haven't seen the GTC Traders site, I am over there, and you can go there and you can subscribe uh, via email to entries and everything that we're doing over there. Right? And there's the Twitter and the the Facebooky boha and the Instagram and all that fun stuff. Right? So that's all over there. I suggest you do that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it up here. I understand that some of you are like, yeah, I'll go over there. I'll subscribe to the GC, and you never do. <laughs> and you know what? That's fine. What's great about what I'm doing now is I don't really care, right? I'm doing this for the fun of me. That's what pretty much. I mean, call me selfish, but I've always done this for is the fun of Dan. I like having fun, so that's why I'm doing it. Just so if you do, if you don't. You know, which what whatever you would like to do. What have I been up to for the last seven years? Some of you may be wondering. Pursuing institutional efforts. A lot of brain sweat, honestly. I have a business partner that I have learned more from in the last 10 years. Very indebted to him. You guys know me. I like giving credit where credit to do. And uh, what is the E-mini doing right now? What are we at? Just sort of curious sorry interesting we've had a bearish bent we're, we're still in a rally in a downtrend but uh this is going to give me some things to do i might be switching to neutral but we're not there yet on my proprietary model that we use for for my private prop firm it has us uh it's like it's in neutral at the moment but starting to slide towards bullish but it's not quite there yet so but that that influences other decisions and other strategies right for things to do so i was sorry i'm just curious <laughs> where was i again dan off on a tangent gee fancy that yes i do all of that but you guys know me i like giving credit where credit to do everything that i've learned everything i know people always used to ask me that on this channel how did you learn all of this other people i didn't come out of the womb right uh talking you know What's the spread on the bid offer? Is it too wide? What's the liquidity like? Where you know are there deep icebergs in this market? You know, is it pro rata? Like, is it is it a FIFO hybrid? Like, what's going? I didn't come out knowing all of that. I learned it. I learned it from other people, and that's the only way you get good at something, right? So, like I said, and it's not to really flatter other people because, quite frankly, I don't care, <laughs> right? But I do believe in giving credit where credits due, and I. I have truly come to believe that ego is a very dangerous trap. Um, one I've fallen into a few times. And I think that's very, 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 very dangerous. And so I'm trying to, quite frankly, avoid the ego trap by giving credit where credit's due. That's the primary reason. Again, a little bit selfish, right? It's not to flatter other people. Like, I got friends and, and, and friends that are business partners and friends I've learned a tremendous amount from, either legally and regulations, how to set up structures, about markets themselves. It's not to flatter them. I love them. I love them to death. They're my brothers. They're my friends. But it's not to flatter them. It's to avoid the trap of ego, right? You always give credit. There's a scripture in the Bible I've always loved. What do you have that you did not receive? Just a very simple question. What do you have that you did not receive? So why should you boast? I'm paraphrasing that a little bit, but that's the general idea. What do you have that you did not receive, and therefore why should you boast? So again, the reason why I give credit is not to overly flatter anyone. Um, I love them dearly, the friends I've learned a lot from, and business partners. It's to avoid that dangerous trap of ego that can just, just ruin you. So yeah.
I've learned a, I've learned a lot. That's all to say that I've learned a lot in the last seven to ten years from a lot of really good people, uh, and I like to share. And I'm an extrovert. I am a wicked, wild extrovert, as many of you know, and I like to share. So I'm going to share what I can. Uh, I'm going to throw stuff over here on the Aileron Trading Channel. Not much, you know, not everything. But uh, managing an SFO now, I think there's, let me think. <laughs> Good Lord, i got to count the companies. There's the holding. There's one, two, three. So there's three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven different companies. So I'm busy. I can't do everything. There, there can't be this a video every day from, Good day, everyone. This is Dan. Oh, no. I can't do that every day, man. I ain't got the time. Plus, I'm doing other interests. I'm starting new ventures. I, I'm hustling, man. I'm getting after it. I'm up at like 4.15 every morning. You know, I've got, I've got to be at the gym. And then it's back home. And then what's the econ news? And... I probably really aggravate some of my business partners with how much I'm doing. <laughs> I really do. But I am. Regardless, yeah, I've been busy. I have found a way to be back. And I'm not retiring this channel. We're going to keep it up. But I would suggest you go over to GTC Traders if you're interested, have always been interested in this channel, because we're going to be putting everything up there on a more timely basis there you know as soon as i get it done i'm going to put it up on the gtc traders channel and at the same time there may be more there at the gtc traders channel as far as what's going on right this one's not as much a priority but if, hey you want to stay subscribed to both what well, you know whatever <laughs> i'm not going to tell anybody else what to do uh, i am back although so much more busy and getting after it and that means that there may not be the frequency that you were used to before but that's because i'm looking after me and mine and uh and hustling so that being said hey all hope you're well and that has been what that has been what it's always been it's simply been my thoughts not yours for whatever the heck day it is as always stay safe trade well and remember that love doesn't cost to die <laughs>